morning everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is in preparation for easter um mini scenes gb uh, are running an easter collaboration over on their channel and basically what the collaboration is is basically a lot of youtubers will come together and participate with regards to whatever crafts they do so there will be different types of crafts it won't just be resin um, if you would like to participate in the collaboration, please let me know below and I can get that sorted for you. So basically, um, the collaboration will be active on Thursday the 28th of March and all links to our YouTube videos will be put into a playlist over on Mini Scenes GB channel. So you'll be able to watch everybody that's participated within um the collaboration so what i'm doing is, is i'm doing an easter egg garden i just wanted to do a little bit something different than easter for easter in a not bunnies or religious artifacts because um i like being different so what i'm doing is, is i'm making a combination of different eggs so i'm starting off with a large egg i did actually do this yesterday and i used a few easter egg molds but they was made of plastic now when you use resin you can use plastic molds but it depends on how thick the plastic is um, and i didn't put any release so, so so basically so it didn't get stuck inside so things like silicone release spray or um, petroleum jelly vaseline anything like that helps to stop it from fusing well i totally forgot because i was so um enlightened to do this so i ended up getting my resin fused to plastic and it just wasn't successful so i'm back again now with the second video so what i'm doing so what i'm doing now is, is i've made 300 gram 300 mils of the apex eyeglass resin i have a 15 percent discord for uh, just for you online uk they are who make the resin and the 15 percent discount can be used across their website i will put that in the link and their website in the description box for you along with everything else that is in the video um, I'm, I'm i've got to do two two of these um to make one easter egg and then i have a couple of other molds that have still not been delivered yet so um the video will be quite long but i might split it into two videos if i split it into two videos um the second part of the video link will be down in the description box for those on the playlist but other than that Let's get cracking. So my egg colour, my egg colours are going to be chocolate, dark chocolate and white chocolate. So for this one, I'm doing a milk chocolate one. So I'm using the pearlescent pigments from Estoyo. Um, I have a discount code for Estoyo as well. So if you'd like to have a look on their website, I'll put that in the description box for you too. So I'm just going to take a stick and add the mica powder when um, mixing mica powders please make sure that you give it a, a good stir because mica powders can actually uh, sink to the bottom and then come back up with the bubbles so as your resin is degassing you might see bits of mica powder actually floating on the top of your resin so it's always good to make sure that you give it a good mix so what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to mix this together and I'm going to pop you on pause and then I'll be back. Right, so I've now mixed up the mica powder into the resin and as you can see it's got a quite gorgeous chocolate colour. It actually looks like Galaxy. If you're in the UK you'll know what you'll be familiar with Galaxy chocolate. Um, or even if you're a chocolatier. It's not bad for a, a mica powder. And it makes such gorgeous markings in the resin. Anyway, enough of me waffling them. Right, so this is actually a chocolate mould, um, which I find to use with resin. They're not ideal for resin. They're not ideally made for resin, but they can be used. So that's why I, <laughs> I purchased this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here, and then I'm going to uh, put it on my heat mat, and then I'll be back in a bit to redo it. And then hopefully by the time I redo the second part of the egg, um my new moulds will be here so with the two two parts of this egg they will be stuck together and i will be wrapping them in gold foil so i will have one easter egg that is wrapped in gold foil with just a bit of of the egg showing just to make it look like an easter egg and then i've got um a box that i've made 
into a bit of a garden and there's some little accessories there, flowers, rabbits, little glittery Easter eggs and some little chicks and some carrots just to make it look authentic for Easter. Anyway, so on that note, let's get this poured. I do hope I have enough resin here. I was just cleaning my stuff off there. So I'm not worried about bubbles within the mould because the mould is circu circular, oval, shall I say. So there's no corners or edges for, apart from the rim for bubbles to stick to. It looks like we're going to need some more resin. That's a big egg. So I'm going to be on pause again and I'm going to mix up, um, I'll just mix up 100 mils. And then if that, if that comes to it, it will just be that size. Back shortly. All right, so I have another 100 mils of resin um, mixed up. So that's 400 mils that I've used so far. If this doesn't fill it up to the tip of the mould, I'm not going to put any more in. Um, it's just a lot of resin. To make one Easter egg, it'd be a thousand mils otherwise. It's just way too much. So I think 800 mils for an egg, <laughs> even that's a lot. Um, but yeah, um, 400 mils so far. And I will put this on my heat mat for an hour. And then this will be ready to demold. And then I can get onto the second part of the egg. And then I'll be back once that's cured and we will I'll show you how to fuse it together using UV resin. Right, so that's about about half a centimetre away from the top, which I'm not really fussed about because it, it's as I said, I don't want to be using a thousand mils to make an Easter egg. It's a lot of resin to, to just be playing with. Right guys, so um as I said, I'll be back when this is ready to be demolded and we'll get this done again. Right, see you shortly. Bye. So this is now cured. It's cured enough for me to demold, but it is, it is rather warm and it comes away lovely. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just grab piece of card. I just want to sit it on there so we can look at the other side. And then I'm going to do another 400 mils and put that in there. I think that looks lovely. Well, I can't wait till this for a bit on. I hope it all looks good. Right, so um, I'll put you on pause. I'll mix up some more resin and we'll pull the second half of the video. Second half of the egg for the video, should I say. Right, so I've mixed up 400 mils of the Apex resin again. So I'm just going to get my mic powder and we'll add that and then I'll time lapse it while it's mixing because I don't want to make you sit through all that. Just adding quite a bit of mica powder because there's a lot of resin in there. So I'll time lapse you. Right, so that looks fine. I'm going to pour this in here. I can't believe one make to the project has took me 800 mils. Wow. It's a lot of resin. So by the time I finish the actual um, video once everything is made i think i would have used maybe about a thousand mils maybe a bit more but that's okay i'm 
I'm here to entertain people. So I don't mind. Right. So I didn't need to come on and really show you that, but obviously if you're um, tutorialising a channel and teaching people or showing people how to do things, it's always good to do. Right, I'm back and this piece is now fully cured. I demolded it and I didn't really need to show you how to demold it as I did it with the first one. So them two will fit together like this. So it'll look like a proper Easter egg, so it's like that. And I will come back later to put them together. So my new moulds have just arrived. Sorry for the package noise. So I got these. So I'm gonna be making um two two of each. So two. So I'm going to be doing um, white chocolate and dark chocolate. So I'm just going to get my PP kit on um, and get some resin mixed up and then we'll be doing the colourants for the actual dark chocolate and white chocolate. See you shortly. Right, so I've mixed up another 400 mils. So I have 200 mils in this part and 200 mils in this part. Uh, sorry, I had to take my gloves off. I will put some more gloves on. I just had to sort the kids out. Um, I did 100 mils in this pot of the resin and 100 mils of the hardener, in both in each pot. So for the dark chocolate, I'm going to be using the HX, sorry, the HXDZFX brown range with some black Perlex pigment powder. And for the white chocolate colorant, I'm going to be using the Magic Gold by Istoyo and I'm going to add some, if I can find it, oh, I'll just add it, um, I'll be using my Craft and Craft, here it is, the Pigment Drops by Craft and Craft, so I'm not going to mix these, um, let you watch, I'll just time lapse it, so it's a bit better, so I'm just going to add some of this. So this has um, an, like a, a hue to it of gold. And then add just a couple of drops of the casting craft. Sorry if my camera keeps going blurred, it's just because my um, hand is in front of the camera. And for the dark chocolate, I need to get some more of this black pigment powder. I'm running short. Right, so all the colours are now mixed up, so I'm going to do the, um, pause for you. I'm just going to do these equally. So because I've got 200 mils, I'm going to do 100 mils in each. Doesn't matter if they're not full. I'm not really bothered. Now this seems plenty. Making sure that that doesn't overflow. My table is not level again. I don't understand why it keeps doing this. I need to take some out of that before it overflows. Yeah, my table seems to be um. That's better. 
and then the white chocolate one. Right, so I'm going to bob these onto my heat mat again, about an hour, and then I'll be back. And then we can get all three Easter eggs glued together. And I'll be using UV resin for that. Possibly mixed with some mica powder to match the colour of the eggs. So I shall see you shortly. Right, so I'm back again and these are now fully cured. So we're going to demold these and have a look at what they look like on the front. Yes, there is some bubbles, but I'm not really bothered about the bubbles because joining these together, you won't see them anyway. So that's what they look like from the front. I think they'll look, they'll look pretty cool. And then the white one together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get some gloves on. And um, I'll show you the next bit of what we're going to do with the eggs. See you shortly. Right, so I'm going to be using the um, J Addiction High Viscosity, Viscosity UV Resin. Viscosity, for those that don't know, means thickness of the actual resin. So a high viscosity means this is thick. You also get medium viscosity and low viscosity. So medium is medium. Thickness and low viscosity means um, thinner, like a low thickness. Right, so what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to hold them together. I've got UV torch. I've had this upside down for the past 20 minutes and it's still... So it's just a thin layer. This is just basically going to hold them together. I'm not really bothered about the gap there because this is going to be coated in gold foil. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of how I'm setting this and then we can time lapse it as the three eggs to do. Oops, sorry. I banged the UV resin. So basically, I'm just using the UV resin as a glue, just to glue the edges together so that it's got some hold on it. And then um, I will wrap, show you how to do the foil. And then the final decoration will be a surprise. So that will be done in photographs because I have to wait until the kids are in bed and take all my stuff downstairs into my um, pop-up light tent. Right, so I'll time elapse you for the rest of these. Right, so I'm back and I've sealed all the eggs. So we have the white chocolate, the dark chocolate and the large milk chocolate. And what I'm going to do is, is I have some strips of, of tin foil, um, aluminum, whatever you call it. So that is going to get placed 
I had a practice earlier and it seemed okay, so let's see if I can read redo it. I'm shaking because this was so heavy. It must weigh about ten pounds, honestly. It is absolutely heavier than anything. Right, sorry about that. My phone stopped recording because somebody rang. Um, apologies. So anyway, um, I stopped the video and I continued with the foil off camera and I will add some photos at the end of this um, to show you the outcome of the Easter garden. So thank you all for taking your time to watch the video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you've not already done so. That would help the channel out so much. And on that note, good night, God bless and see you all tomorrow on the next upload. Good night.